Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks in ST. For the future prediction. So basically I will make the two video about that. So for today's session, I will show you that how we can easily create the variable. Basically, when you want to make the land use land cover classification map, we need the two types of variable: independent variable and dependent variable. So independent variable mainly it's your land use land cover classification map. So we can easily create the land use land cover classification maps for our study area. It can be if, if you want you can use the Google Earth engine or if you want you can also use the ArcMap software or any types of other geospatial software for creating the land use land cover classification map on for any specific two decade you can easily create okay and we have also need to create the another types of dependent variable so mainly we need to create the dam we need to create the slope we need to create the aspect we need to create the distance from road need to create from the distance from water body and population so today's session i will show you that how we can easily create this type of variable and further i also show you that how we can easily use this type of variable and predict the land use land cover classification map for the future so let's go so just i simply open my arc map software so here you can see i already imported my dem data so basically this is the uh, dem data digital elevation model data so you can easily uh, get the dem data from the nasa srtm website or if you want you can also use the google Earth engine for downloading the dem data so just i simply uh, choose the another color plated whatsapp from the symbology okay. so you can see this is my dem data okay so this is my dem data and the high S elevation is the 328 meter and lowest elevation is the negative 44 meter okay so this is my dim data i already added the dim data as well as also you can see the river so in my this is my river shape file also you can see the coastal road okay so this is my road shape file okay and this is my boundary okay, about the coastal as well as also you can see the i already created the land use land cover classification map for year of 2023 and i mainly classified the forest agricultural land parent land water body settlement vegetation for 2023 then 2013 then also 2003 and also finally on 1993 okay so now I just try to use all of those things and I also need to create the some other dependent variable such as I need to create the distance from road map. Okay. So for creating the distance from road map, I already imported my uh, road shape file in my art map software. And also you can see this is my dem data about that. So now I just try to make the distance from road map. Okay. So how we can easily create the distance from road map? So for that, first of all, you can simply click on the catalog tool and go to the special analyze toolbox. You can see. Then click on here. And then first of all, you try to find out a toolbox. This toolbox name is the distance. So click on the distance. So now we can simply select the Euclidean distance. So simply click on here. And now you can simply input your uh, raster feature source data. So in this time, I simply click on here and select the data. And also, you can see uh, in this time, I simply put here the input raster feature data. In this time, we have to select here the uh, road data. So select the road. Input the roads. Basically, you can see this is the road included in here. And then in this time you can simply select the cell size. So mainly in this time I put here the cell size is that uh, 30 meter. Okay. And then I want to save it for a specific folder. 
suppose I folder in this product, simply put this, uh, it's showing the result for distance from road. So, 10. Road. Okay. You can put any name, no problem. Then save it. Okay. Then you can simply just go to the environment. And here you can see the your uh, x y uh, you can see processing is 10 click on here and then simply uh, you can same as layer of the i simply put here the same as layer as the coastal shape okay so then click on here as well as you can simply go to the below and here you can see the raster analysis so in this time you can simply marks with your um the simply set the coastal shape right then okay so now simply click the okay so now you can see it created the Euclidean distance to road map. Okay, so I, I try again. So Euclidean distance. All roads. I simply select that, and I simply save it such as a and then save it. Okay. So now it created okay, for distance to road map. So further, we can also click with our boundary shape file for getting the proper result. Okay, so just simply click with our boundary. So this is our boundary about that. So just we can simply click with that, and we can get the final map about that. So now we can simply click on the geomorphing tool. You can see the clip, and I simply click with the or if you want you can simply click on go to the catalog tool and go to the extraction and extract by marks input raster i simply put at the distance to road and it click with my shape file shape file is that our postal shape yeah and i save it for a specific and put the name such as it show the result for distance okay then save it okay, i use another name suppose 10 oops okay then save it Just by the folder, put the name suppose then save it. I try again, it's struck by marks, cluster, port, and uh, put here the boundary shape file. Try again. Okay, done. So now created distance to road map for my study area. Okay. Just I simply click on here and go to the classified and I simply class the post 10 class and I put the color look like that. Apply and okay. Okay. So now it creates the map for distance to road map and easily get for my study area. As well as we also need to create the uh, another thing is that we need to create the another map uh distance to water body map or distance to river map okay so you can see i already imported the river boundary shape file in here so in this time i have to work with for the same approach for the river so that further simply click on here and go to the distance from the distance go to the euclidean uh distance click on here 
and then simply put here the you can see the coastal river and then uh, you can simply click to the ok or for that you can simply select your specific folder okay suppose i put the name is that river distance save it i think it's a long name i put the river distance okay but try again so basically this is a crack software so that's why sometimes it will be not work properly so then try again i hope it will work there is no problem so now you simply select the uh, coastal river zip file and then you simply save it for my specific folder i put the name suppose for okay then save it and after that simply uh okay so basically the reverse so just simply put the reverse distance river or reverse then okay so now it create the map for the distance to river map now it gonna right from here okay it's done you can see you can get the result look like that and now from here we just simply uh struck by marks with our study area so for that what can we do just i simply go to the catalog tool and you can see the struck by marks option in the extraction struck by mark click on here and in put rust in this time i simply put here the reverse and then put here the clip with our boundary shape file coastal shape file then okay so now it created the okay it now created about that and uh, i simply that it's not needed i simply just click on here Go to the properties. I also make the class classified into suppose total in class and put here the suppose color. Okay, so now we can get the map for the distance to river map we also generate. So basically, we created the distance to river map. Okay, and we also created the also another variable for the distance to road map. We also created. Okay, as well as we also created about that okay as well as we also need to the another uh, variable for that we need to create the slope map so for the slope we can easily create the slope in our map software so for that click on here and go to the special analysis tool analysis tool and then from here we can find out the surface option you can say surface in the surface here we can click on the slope so input raster, I simply put here the dim. Okay, put the dim, and then uh, I can also set the surface uh, dim, and you can set the unit. Suppose I set the unit the percentage rise, and put the specific folder. Suppose I put the folder is the oh. and okay. So now just simply click the okay. So now it created the slope map from here. Another variable. So now it's working. Okay, it's done. You can see it created the slope map about that. Okay, so now you can see we generated the slope. We generated the uh, map for um, distance to river. We also created about this map. Also, you can see the distance to road map. We also created about that as well as we also uh, already created our dim map this is our dim map okay and we also created about our all of those uh, land use land cover classification map for the different decade okay so basically this type of um variable we need to need when you want to make the land use land cover prediction okay so basically you can see independent variable and dependent variable we need the land use land cover classification map for the two decades and we also need the dam solve aspect distance from road map distance from water body map or distance from river map and also population map about that okay so now we can uh, you can easily create all of those uh, variable and further we are also applying the different types of algorithm for creating this type of um, neural network for that hidden layer or input layer and then finally we can predict the land use land cover classification for the future
okay so next tutorial i will also try to show you that how we can easily use this type of variable and then predict the land use land cover classification for future okay so for getting this tutorial just keep in touch with the study hacks stay happy and stay okay thank you for watching that